scientists have finally captured an image of one of the largest explosions in recent history after waiting for decades. Fortunately for us, this event didn't take place on Earth but rather in one of our neighboring galaxies, 120 million light years away. The event is known as a supernova, and for a long time, experts had limited knowledge about it because they had never witnessed one in real time. That changed recently when they observed the first supernova explosion, a historic and incredible occurrence. So, what exactly did scientists observe during this unique event? How large was it? And more importantly, how could a supernova explosion affect Earth? A supernova is the explosive death of a star that has reached the end of its life. These supernovae are extremely powerful events capable of illuminating entire galaxies and emitting more energy in a single second than our sun will generate throughout its entire existence. But supernovae are not merely explosions. They also serve as the primary source of heavy elements in the universe. According to NASA, supernovae are the most massive explosions that can occur in space. People have studied these stellar phenomena for generations and ancient civilizations were aware of them long before the invention of the telescope. In fact, Chinese astronomers documented RCW 86, the oldest known supernova, in 185 AD. NASA believes that for eight months, people on Earth could see the supernova in the night sky. The Encyclopedia Britannica notes that before the early 1600s, only seven supernovae had been observed. The term, Supernova wasn't coined until the 1930s by scientists Walter Bada and Fritz Zwicky after witnessing an explosion in the Andromeda galaxy. When supernovae occur, they send debris and gas into space. While these materials have been observed, they were typically seen only after the explosion. That changed in the summer of 2020, when, for the first time, scientists witnessed the complete life cycle of a red supergiant star including its colossal explosion into a supernova. A team of researchers from Northwestern University and the University of California, Berkeley, used the PanSTARRS telescope on Maui's Haleakala volcano to make this groundbreaking discovery. Their goal was to learn more about two types of supernovae, Type 1 supernovae, which occur when a star accumulates matter from nearby stars until a runaway nuclear reaction triggers an explosion, and Type II supernovae, which happen when a star exhausts its nuclear fuel and collapses under its own gravity. The team identified the massive, dying star because it was emitting a significant amount of light in a particular region of the sky. They quickly realized they had found something extraordinary, a highly unstable star on the verge of exploding. This red supergiant star was much larger than anything they had previously observed. The star, located in the galaxy NGC 5731, approximately 120 million light-years away, had about 10 times the mass of our Sun. For 130 days leading up to its spectacular explosion, scientists closely monitored the star, thanks to advancements in technology and records from earlier studies. This unprecedented observation allowed researchers to witness the final months of a star's life and its ultimate destruction. The researchers carefully examined the star's surroundings, analyzing how it behaved in its last days and studying the specifics of the supernova. As a result, astronomers now have a much clearer understanding of the processes leading up to a supernova, a cosmic event that had long been shrouded in mystery. The data gathered from this groundbreaking observation provided crucial insights into the star's activities during the four months leading up to the explosion. During this time, the area surrounding the star emitted increasingly bright light, leading scientists to name the event SN 2020-TLEF. Previously, there was no evidence that red supergiants exhibited unusual behavior before exploding. However, this supernova demonstrated that some of these stars may indeed display warning signs before their eventual detonation. Astronomers likened the experience to watching a time bomb counting down. Jacobson Gallen, a National Science Foundation graduate research fellow at the University of California, Berkeley, and lead author of the study, 
was astonished by what they observed. He described the findings as a significant leap forward in our understanding of how massive stars behave in their final stages. This marked the first time that researchers had directly witnessed the precursors to a supernova in a red supergiant. Although the sight of the supernova was awe-inspiring, the team gained even more knowledge by studying the star's behavior after the explosion. These observations challenged long-standing assumptions about how red supergiants behave before they explode. Previously, all observed red supergiants had been relatively quiet, showing no signs of significant outbursts or energy emissions before their deaths. However, the discovery of intense radiation from this particular red supergiant in the year before its explosion suggests that at least some of these stars undergo dramatic internal changes that lead to the ejection of gas just before they die. While this first-of-its-kind supernova observation has provided scientists with a wealth of information, it also raises many new questions. Jacobson Gallen expressed excitement about the new avenues of research that this discovery has opened. He noted that finding more supernovae like this one could significantly reshape our understanding of the final months of stellar evolution. This will bring together both observational astronomers and theoretical physicists as they work to decipher how massive stars spend their last moments. Supernovae are rare events, given the vastness of the universe and the fact that not all stars end their lives this way. Nevertheless, these cosmic explosions always make us wonder, what would happen if our own sun went supernova? Scientists here on Earth know that this is impossible because the sun doesn't have enough mass. It would need to be at least eight times its current mass for such an event to occur. But if the sun were to explode in some unforeseen way, the consequences would be catastrophic. The explosion's intense radiation would immediately strip away Earth's ozone layer, exposing all living things to deadly radiation. Skin cancer rates would soar, hospitals would overflow, and radiation burns would affect anyone not shielded underground or in protective suits. Yet even these precautions would offer only temporary protection, as the Earth's surface would begin to evaporate at thousands of meters per second, heating the planet to 15 times the temperature of the sun's surface in an instant. Life as we know it would cease to exist. Thankfully, we don't need to worry about our sun going supernova. Given its size, such a devastating event is impossible in our solar system. But that doesn't mean there aren't other frightening occurrences in the universe. For more terrifying events happening in space this year, click on the video on your screen. If you enjoyed this episode, I'll see you there.